Hi friends, today I'm going to show you how to use, do and access the uh, Minecraft glass, glasses lesson so that way you can create it and then you can uh, send it to me as an, a .stl file. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on learn and it's going to bring you here. Remember you've already done the starters, here's lessons and projects. You're going to click on lessons. And then the very first one are um, is the is the lesson called Minecraft Party Glasses. So you're going to click on that. Um, you can also go go directly to the link uh, that um, was sent to you. But this is where you would go. And so now I'm going to click on my Mine, Minecraft Party Glasses. I'm going to hit resume because I already started. I was just kind of taking a look at it. And it's going to be the same type of lesson where you're going to, I've already started this. This actually was over here. So, um, I'm going to hit um, start over. So maybe undo, undo. Let me see what happens if I delete. There we go. Okay, so uh, first lesson, remember, it is three, uh, nine steps. One of nine, I'm at one of nine. So in this lesson, you will learn to design a cool pair of party glasses. So I'm gonna go to step two, and it's pretty much uh, step by step. Start by dragging the box shape to the workspace. If you notice, there's an outline here, and that's exactly where they want you to drag it. So here's the box shape, and you just drop and click. You'll find the box shape in the panel on the right side of the screen. So I've done that. Uh, just really quick, this shows that it's a solid. This shows that it's a hole. So these would be box holes, which we're not going to go into right now. But here's a solid. Excuse me. So I'm going to go to the next one. Um, I'm going to click next. And then here, if you notice, um, plus, minus, I can make it. I can make my work bigger for uh, zoom in or I can zoom out okay so I'm going to zoom in a little bit and it says scale it smaller to a height of five millimeters tall and size it to six by six millimeters so this is important sizing is very important in engineering I'm gonna um if you notice my length here if, if well I can uh, hide it or I can I can change the height and and uh with different ways um by here i can change the length width and height here or i can actually go here and click on it and then if you notice these four little squares are here that shows if i click on it that um this square is actually the one behind it um so this shows actually is it i'm sorry so this is the width it's 20. this back here if you notice it's going back two space two squares so it's going 20 here's 20 and then the height if i wanted to do the height um i would actually click on this thing and that shows the height is 20. okay so it's a 20 by 20 by 20 millimeter cube because i know that it's a 20 uh because if if i look here it says it each grid is in millimeters i can always change it to um millimeters to inches or brick but they're asking you to do it in millimeters so i'm just going to keep it in millimeters so it says a height scale it smaller to a height of five millimeters so height i'm going to change it i don't know if i can change it here but yes i can so i'm going to say four once i do that you notice how it goes down and then uh size it to six by six millimeters so six by six so it's the length and the width so i'm going to click on it again and then the length is six and the width is six and if you notice every time i change it it changes the block automatically okay so now i've done that and then i'm going to hit go to the next one it, okay now drag the box to the area outlined in orange so these, all these oranges, so I'm just going to click on the box and drag it over. Oops, wrong. So whenever, don't worry, hit undo. All right. Um, so I'm going to click out of it, and then I'm just going to drag it. Okay, so remember, anytime something happens, undo is your friend. 
All right, now it says copy and paste the block box to fill in the rest of the outline area. So I'm gonna click out of it. I'm gonna click it and I'm gonna um, to copy it. I'm going to click on that and duplicate and repeat control D. So I'm gonna hit control D and drag one over. Uh oh. So again, undo. Click out of it. Move it over. Okay. Click out of it. Control D. It doesn't know what I want to control D, so I'm going to have to click Control D and then click out of it and then move one over. So you're just going to have to play around with it. Click this one. Control D. Out of it and drag the other one. And then again, select the one I want to copy, Control D, snap, uh, click out of it. So now then go select it. And now I've done both of them, all five of them, one, two, three, four, five. Next, scale it to 24 milliliters, milliliters, 24 millimeters long to fill the area outlined in orange. So now this one, I need it to make it that big. So Click on this one, and then I'm going to grab one edge, and this is where I'm probably going to have to zoom in a little bit. So, um, one edge, and drag it out. So you got to be very careful which edge you select to drag out. Okay, so this says 23. Well, I don't want it 23. They said 24. So this is helpful because it gives you the length. So 20. Four. And you could have done it the other way to click on the length. There we go. Okay, so now five of nine. All right, copy and paste the long ones to the outlined areas. We know how to do that. Click, select it, control V, click out of it, select one of them, move it over. Okay, select it, control V, click out of it, drag the other one over. Okay. Select it, control D, click out of it, drag the copy over. Okay, so now we've done that. All right, what's the next one? Seven out of nine. Remember, you've got the moves, yay. Remember the Alt button when moving a box, which um, I didn't do, so I don't know what that means. Anyway, um, let's fill in the remaining outlined area. So now we've done this. We know how to do all this, right? Because we did it already. So it's just it's just copying and pasting. So Control, Control B, click out of it, move it over. That makes sense. Control B, click out of it, move it over. So I'm going to pause this to so for me to finish, so you don't have to see me doing the whole thing, and then uh, I'll I'll come back when I'm done. One of the things I wanted to point out that um, to copy multiple, select the box and hit maybe I need, if you look, I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. So I'm going to hit that one. I'm going to hit Control D once, twice, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I click out of it and then I'm just going to one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Oops, this one's a little bit off. Uh, seven and eight. Okay, so now that worked. And I just got to do the extra frames. This one, I made a copy. I brought it over, but it's not in the right place. So I'm going to use this thing to tilt or twist or rotate, not tilt, to rotate this. And then I can just bring it over to where it belongs. Okay. Do the same thing here. I think I only did one. So Control E. Uh, click out of it. 
rotate it, bring it over here, but it's not in the right um, direction. So I'm just going to rotate that. And then get out of it and bring it over. Okay, so I need this last one. Control D. Get out of it, move it over, and it's too big, but that's okay. I can resize it. So again, zooming in to make sure I'm grabbing the right piece and the right edge. So I'm gonna actually what I'm gonna do is move it off and make sure I'm grabbing the right edge. And I, if I have to, I might have to move it back a little bit. Um, oops. Zoom out a little bit. And remember, uh, it's okay if um, you doesn't work the first time. We're okay with that. And then, oops, I hit now I'm going to click out of that and bring it down. And it looks like I have one more piece here. So control D. Out, up, this one smaller. And once I've done that, I can bring it out. There we go. I can bring that over there we go so hopefully that's uh it's a, about approximately what we have so this is if you want to always go back to what you had before click on home view the little house and it zooms you right back up okay so now we're on seven of nine we're going to do as you're almost done select all the objects and group them together because right now you've got multiple pieces they're small pieces what you have to do is put them all together so like connecting them so right now they're just on top of each other but they're not they're not truly like uh fused or connected so i'm going to zoom out a little bit and i'm going to select all the objects to select all the objects this is important i'm going to start up here away from all of them and then i'm just going to make this big box so now if you notice i have everything's been selected and then i'm going to click here where it says group that means put them together so i'm going to hit or control g i'm going to click and you're going to see the difference that they're going to be like fused or attached together there we go so now they're they're, they're uh, together although i didn't see anything Ooh, it's like frozen maybe it didn't work because it's frozen let me see Yes, they are connected together because now I can tell that they're connected together because the opposite command is to ungroup. And actually, if I were to take this and if I were to click on it, it it you see how everything is together. And when I move it, everything moves. If they weren't grouped, if I selected, it would only move one box. Okay, so that is a very important process in this step. Uh, I'm sorry. Flip it, and a very important step in this process. So group them together, so I am almost done. Party on, woo, great job, I made it. So now I'm done, but what does that do with me? Do for me nothing except I just have a project. You can share it with me, but um, here's how you're going to do that. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm going to um, go over here where it says export, okay? And you're gonna download and 3D print. You can also send to, um, but I'm not sure if you can do, uh, you can send it that way. You can actually send it by downloading it, uh, but then it's only gonna down, yeah, you can download it to your computer. Um, and there's no way. Okay, so what you're gonna do, or you can actually share by email, but uh, I don't need, let's see how you can share it. With me. So let's see. It's been a long time. So we are going, this is what you want to do. So you're going to download the selected shape. And what you're going to do for a 3D print file, you are going to create, uh, you're going to download as a, as a .stl file. This one right here. So I'm going to click download as an STL and it says preparing model. So now if you notice on the left side, it says this. But you know what? Um, I didn't change the name and I don't know who's sending it to me. So you can actually change the name and maybe you could say Minecraft party glasses um, and you can click 
your name, Tobias, and then your room, three, whatever it is, 327, whatever it is, and then do that again. So this time, export, remember, export download as a .stl, and now it's going to download that. And then now you can send it to me. Or post it, uh, you know what, post it on Google Classroom. So go to Google Classroom and post it. Uh, we will have a uh, an assignment there. Okay. All right. Ho hopefully that helps. All right. Take care. Of oh, and then whoever I'm going to raffle, whoever sends it to me, whoever, um, I will raffle. Uh, put your names and then uh, create a couple 3D of your glasses there. Okay. Um, and then, uh, and then I'll send them to you. We'll figure out a way to get them to you. All right. Take care, guys.